This video is going to show you the functions and the features for Easy Ad Poster Deluxe so that you can understand how it's going to work for you and what all it can actually do. I'm going to stop, uh, start from top to bottom, left to right. Uh, file has just got your basic exit. You can just close it out there. You can go to Tools and you have an option for Settings which would open up all of your different settings and configuration, uh, configurations within the software and we have show application path which will show you the different applications that you can use for task scheduler in Windows to make this run on 100% autopilot and you'll never have to start or close it to post. We also have a check for updates button. You can make sure you're la uh, using the latest version of Easy Ad Poster Deluxe. Then in your help section here we have the uh, latest news for Easy Ad you can get help online if you need to register your product which at this point you probably already have unless you're using a demo you have uh, about us which is just going to be about the software that you're running crash recovery and test IP rental this is only applicable to you if you're using the IP rental uh, service you can hit the test IP rental button here and it'll show you that it's working and if you're having a lot of IP rental issues you can usually do a crash recovery to fix some of those now we have a manage campaigns button with a lot of different stuff in it. Import campaign means that you, you've already created a campaign, you've saved it and you've exported it somewhere whether it be on your computer or another computer or hard drive, different stuff. You can actually import the campaign here and save yourself a lot of time. Export campaign, you would be able to save your campaign and export it to your computer, maybe email it to another computer, whatever you do that for, um, so you have an actual XML file of the campaign. This is where you would create a new campaign under Add New Campaign. You would select a category, and then a subcategory, and, and you'd go from there. You can rename your campaigns once you've created them, you can delete them, or you can clone them, and cloning a campaign will actually clone everything from that campaign including accounts, cities, titles, ad copy, links, and so on. You have the option to add or remove cities from your campaign if you have too many cities or too little cities and you can do this. You also have the option to add or remove emails and Craigslist user accounts from this campaign. You can bulk manage Craigslist user accounts you can randomize campaigns or randomize all campaigns. You will have a manage ad section here that will allow you to add new ad variations, delete them, rename them, or clone them. Your post campaigns button, you can post, post just a selected campaign or you can post every single one. There are going to be times when you post ads where you will get errors, whether it be an unknown error, post server busy error, uh, blocked message, different stuff, and you will have the option here to repost any ads that failed with errors, or you can post any ads that have not yet been run. In your options settings here, you have a plugin manager, which is used for third party softwares that we've approved and that you can use as plugins. Easy settings are just quick settings you can set up, or you have advanced settings which will let you configure a lot more things than the software. Proxy servers, you can manage your proxies and turn them on or off. Proxies uh, can be loaded right into the software to use and switch up IPs every time an ad's posted. Custom tokens, you can go into a token manager here and actually create different variations of titles, ads, images, links, locations, prices, ages, and so on. Random phrases can be used in every single one of your ads and this will make sure that you never get a duplicate error message from Craigslist where they tell you that you've already posted that ad. Uh, this will really help you when you want to post multiple ads in multiple cities and categories you have the option to refresh the random phrases so you get a whole new list of phrases or you can import random phrases from a text file or an XML file that you might have created. You have a test run button here which is also called a dry run mode 
and if you click this you'll get a blue box around it that means that you are in test run mode this allows you to post your campaign or a city and see how the ad actually is going to look on Craigslist before you post it your hands free mode this is where you can use uh, CAPTCHA solving from image text.com they'll actually type in all of your CAPTCHA words for you so you never have to do that and make it completely hands free you have the option to open the uh, Windows task scheduler here you can buy and manage credits within image to text website over here you have ad variations which would list all kinds of different variations of ads that you've created within a campaign and you have campaign details if you select a city from the left in your campaign this will actually give you a quick preview of how the ad is going to look at the bottom of the software you're going to see a couple different things here you'll see how many proxy lo uh, servers are loaded and I have a hundred here you should see zero for now if this shows orangish pink peach color for you that means that this particular setting is disabled if you actually turn on or enable proxies it will turn green and you want to keep a, an eye on that when you're doing certain things when you select a campaign it will show you how many Craigslist or email accounts are loaded within the software or to show you if you're in email mode or account mode right here you're gonna see random phrases loaded this will show you how many phrases are loaded into our software to use for randomization green means it's enabled yellow would mean it's disabled captcha outsourcing is disabled right now this would show enabled if you're using image to text service in order to have them type in your captures for you so that's a very quick uh, overview of the software and all the functions and features